Hi there, welcome to the sixth and final video in the Managing Expectations series. I really appreciate that you've joined me for these six videos and I really hope that you have taken some really practical things away from them and some real meaning as well. So just as a really quick recap, we started with talking about where manage, where expectations actually come from to help us be able to manage them. So particularly for ourselves, and they come from values, that's where they come from. We then talked about thinking styles. So our values translate into thinking styles. And our thinking styles then translate into our behaviours. So really understanding where our thinking is coming from and where our values are based, then we can actually understand how our behaviours are translating our, our message into the world. And we can possibly look at changing some of that stuff as well to make sure that it's in line with being an inspirational leader because that's obviously the journey that you're on right now and that's what you want to do. Um, I totally believe that you will be an inspirational leader. All you need to do is put into place these fundamental skills. And it's not brain surgery, but it is a little complex and there is a lot of stuff in it. Now these six videos have crossed, a cr crossed over a number of the skills that you need for being an inspirational leader that you need if you want to make it to the top and if you want to set yourself apart from the others as well. That I think is a really important essential part of this whole thing is that you don't want to be that leader that you see right now. You don't want to be the one that's dismissing their staff or getting lost in the detail, who's not providing a vision, who's not being inspirational, who's not communicating to their people the way they need to be communicated to. You don't want to be one of those people. You want to be someone who puts puts meaning into their messages so that everyone around them can feel inspired. That's the really important part. This video I'm going to talk to you about how you go about managing the expectations that other people have on you. In a few of the other videos, we talked about really practical tools that enable you to manage your priorities, that manage your outputs, your achievements, and really understand where other people are coming from. So we can translate that to ourselves, can't we? So if we've got our own expectations, we've got our own set of what we want to do and what we want other people to do, we can take all of these skills and apply it to them, can't we? Of course we can, because we're in control of ourselves, we're in control of our, uh, of our behaviours in all of this. It's great to be able to do that, but what about others? What about the fact that your boss has a lot of expectations that you need to meet? So you're sitting there going, it's all very well, Michelle, saying, I need to prioritise my work, but when my boss comes out and he just lobs something on my desk, then all my priorities go out the window. And you know what? That's true. Absolutely. And that's all part of being a professional in this world. That you have to be able to respond in a way that's going to uh, be, be beneficial for you and your career. You don't want to just lob it back to your CEO. That would be a really bad idea. Really career limiting. Managing others' expectations of you is a really, really hard thing to do. And I'll tell you why. Because that other is a human being. <laughs> they have their own set of values and their own thinking style and their own behaviours and they've had their own experiences and their own baggage. And you have to kind of live with some of this stuff. I hate to tell you this, but you can't control somebody else. No matter what you think, you cannot control anybody else. If anybody's ever had, you know, if you've got children or you've got a dog or <laughs> you've got um, an elderly grandfather, you know fine well that you cannot control their behavior. You can influence 
you can inspire them, you can create an environment that motivates them to work in the way that you want them to work, but you can't make them do anything. You cannot make another human being do anything. So here's the thing, to manage others' expectations, you have to be able to manage yourself and your reaction to those expectations. That's the absolute key and critical part of all of this. So when I say other people's expectations and managing that, it's really about taking those fundamental skills that I gave you in the first five videos and applying them to the other person. So when you think about thinking styles, try and get some cues from them about where they're actually coming from because then you'll be able to understand their expectations a little bit more. Understand what priority that they're coming from as well. Do they, are they responsive to a delegation? Are they responsive to a deferral? Are they responding to the fact that somebody else deleted something out of their work that they haven't been able to do? So where are they coming from? And have a think about the goals. So if they're providing you with a task to do or a new project or just some other responsibility that you have in your, your, your world, go through that SMART goal. Try and figure out, you know, ask the questions of them. Ask those questions. Is it specific? Is it measurable? Is it result oriented? What's the time frame? Can I actually achieve this? Ask all those questions. Maybe not ask them bluntly, but ask them or ask them bluntly. It's, it's better to ask and to know than not. These are the ways that you're going to manage other people's expectations of you. But here's the thing, guys. Sometimes you're just going to have to do stuff. Like sometimes if your CEO walks into your office and he lobs something on your desk and he doesn't have those skills of an inspirational leader then you're going to have to do the job. And unfortunately, this is the world that we currently live in. And that's why I need your help to change this world because this is what we need to do is change it. We don't want those leaders anymore. We don't want you to be that kind of leader. We want you to be way better than they are. But this is the world that we're working in right now. So you need to get through this world to be able to get to those leadership positions, to be able to change the world and save it from these in uninspiring leaders and these poor co communicators. I get really passionate about this stuff. And you can see me, I'm kind of stumbling over my words because I get so passionate about this because it is so essential for great business and being um, effective and productive to have good leadership skills in place. And unfortunately, there's so many places where they're not in place. They're just not there. Managing others' expectations of you is about your reaction to those expectations. And you need to be really strategic about this because you've got a career goal in mind. You want to be a kick-ass, inspiring leader. So you need to plan out that journey and you need to know that when something happens in your work and when you feel like those expectations are unreasonable, you need to figure out your own reaction to that. Through our program, we explore this quite a lot and it's really, I can't talk to you about it in six minutes. It's just not possible. But what I can say to you is take the other skills that I've given you and apply them when you're being provided with something in your life because at the very least you'll be able to practically manage some of the time it takes to get some of this stuff done and make sure you're giving yourself headspace and time and the right frame of mind to kick your journey and kick your career into action and into the path that you want to go. So managing expectations, have a think about it and how that crosses over your entire leadership journey. 
What I want to do right now is just, I've been talking a little bit about the Kick-Ass Performance Program and I've had some emails coming back saying to me, just tell me what this damn program is already, all right? So I'm going to just talk you through it just for a couple of minutes, just to um, tell you what all the fuss is about. There's lots more information on the website as well, so you can have a, a nice uh, look through and decide whether this is the program for you, but I'll really go through it really quickly for you. All right, so as I've mentioned, there's five key modules, let's say, in the Kick-Ass Performance Journey program. The first one starts at Communicate, right here. Okay, so this is you. <laughs> we go into this one first. And this one is where we learn about ourselves and when we learn about other people. We get our profile so that we can really deep dive into our psyche and understand fundamentally how people are, are, are thinking and how they tick. This is really essential for being able to communicate really well and it's really essential for being able to lead really, really well. Our program is all about developing the strength of skill to move from one step to the next step to the next step. The worst thing that you can do on a leadership journey, if you want to be that top leader and you want to be great at it, is to jump right in the middle of it. What happens is when you jump right into the middle of it is it's a sink or swim. You've heard that term before, sink or swim. There's the fake it till you make it call as well. This is what happens when people jump into a higher level leadership program than they're truly ready for. And it might be that you're fabulous technically. It might be that you can do it and you know you can do it if you just give it a go. But what will happen is there'll be some collateral damage along the way and that might be to you or it might be to people around you. It might be that you get to the point where you sort of feel like you're there, but you're not really sure. It's that confidence just isn't there. And you kind of get what I like to call the speed wobbles. So you've sped through your leadership journey so fast, you've hit those speed bumps and you're wobbling away. Unfortunately, sometimes when you wobble, you kind of fall off, which is really damaging for you and damaging for people around. And believe me, I know, I've done this. I've jumped into the middle of leadership. I've wobbled and I've fallen off and it's not a fun place to be. What I've discovered is, though, is if you get fundamental skills in a particular way and a particular sequence, then the speed wobbles aren't there anymore and you can do it. It's just a matter of doing it. So where you come in is communicate. And when we talk about fundamental skills, I'm not talking about basic skills, I'm talking about fundamental skills that every human being needs for human to human contact, which will make you great. So once we've done this program, and it's a two day program, it's a two day program. Then you go from here into confidence. All right, so once you're in confidence, you're feeling a lot better because you've got some great skills and you've got strength of skill. Now, in confidence, it's a one-day program where we explore your skills and experiences and also the skills that you've learned through here and how we actually apply them in our world. We do a lot of stuff in this, a lot of practice, getting good at these skills. So you get the confidence of it. We explore language and the use of language. We also explore networking. So part of this program is doing a, is um, attending a networking event and actually getting in there really practically, putting your communication skills into practice with a group of people. It's really fun, it's really exciting. And you get to learn over a glass of wine. Like how good's that? So once you've got the confidence, you then jump into influence. All right, so influencing skills are critical 
I can't say that enough, critical for being a great leader. Because if you remember right at the beginning of this video, I said, you cannot control anybody, but you absolutely can influence them. You can influence their decision. You can influence them to be great. You can influence their job. Our influence program is based in the principles of Dale Carnegie's book, which you may have read, which is How to Win Friends and Influence People, and also Daniel Pink's book, to sell is human. We explore sales skills in this. And don't be scared off, I'm not going to turn you into a you know, slimy car salesman. Apologies to any car salesman out there, I'm sure you're awesome. But that stereotype is out there. What we do explore is influencing and negotiating skills that are great and sales skills basically on how do you influence, how do you influence your executive team. So again, that's a two-day program where we really go into it. We give you lots of time, lots of activities in our programs as well. So it gives you lots of opportunities to practice and get really, really good at this stuff. So once you're able to influence, you're able to sell to your message to other people, and it might be a one-on-one -on -one message that you're selling, you then go to present. And by this time, you're actually getting really strong in these skills. There's our little muscles right there. Okay, so you've got the strength of skill to influence. You've got the confidence to do it and you've got the fundamentals to understand yourself and understanding the people around you and how, how you impact on each other. Present is when you want to be a great leader and go beyond just being, say, a team leader of, you know, 10 people, that you want to be a division manager, let's say, of 50 people, or you want to be CEO of a big company or a multinational company, or you want to be a speaker, you want to be a leader in your profession. So you want to go out there and you want to get your message out to people. You want to be an inspiring leader and you want to take that message out there. Present. That's where you learn these skills. So... I have a friend who's an actor who comes in and helps me with this program. He will help you with stage presence and engaging your audience and being able to think on your feet and be able to deliver a really meaningful message to a great group of people. Once you have all of these skills in place, the next Next place that we're going to take you to is transform. Now, once you get here, you are strong. You've got the skills and you've got people that are looking to you saying, what an inspiration. You're already there, but there's still some work to do. This is where we bring together all of those skills. We explore leadership overall, how you can make a difference, how you change yourself, how you change the world around you and how you can influence greatness in everyone around you as well. This is a big program. This one here, I forgot to tell you that presents two days. Our transform program is three and a half days. And it ain't for the faint hearted. This is a big program. So you need to prove to me before you go into this one that you are demonstrating all of these other skills in your, in your world. That you've taken them on, you've taken them in, and you are making them happen. If you can demonstrate that to me, then I know that you are an inspirational leader and you have a kick-ass life in front of you and you will be one of those leaders that I want to make sure is out in the world. Because remember what our mission is, it's to save the world from these terrible, terrible leaders. So I'm not going to allow you in unless you've got all these fundamental skills. So transform is where you will transform as a leader 
you will put in the work to do that and you will be great. You will be great. Along the journey here, we've also got um, strategic leadership coaching as well, which will help you along the way. These programs are built in a certain way to take you from strength to strength to strength to strength. So you build those skills. So that's the Kick-Ass Performance program in a nutshell. You can have way more information on the website. So have a look. Um, click the button below, which will take you to the page. It will tell you all about Kick-Ass Performance. It'll tell you, you know, all prices and dates and when we're having them and all of those things when you want to book in for it. But remember, if you haven't been with us on our journey yet, this is where you, you come in, all right? So you have to come in at this level because this is about building strength of skill. And I need to be confident that you've got what it takes to move to these next levels. This program is for people who are up and coming and who want to be inspiring. This is not for people who don't want to put in the work and they just want to turn up to a leadership program and have a nice time and have a you know muffin or two. This is not what this is about. If you want to come and join us, and I'd love for you to do that, you have to put in the work. You have to put in the work because you want to be inspiring. So join us in the Kick-Ass Performance. Click the button below. Have a bit of a look. Make sure that it's right for you. Come on board. And I can't wait to work with you. And until I see you again, be inspiring.